What's going on, my fellow archers? My name is Armisar. Welcome back to the channel. We're here for more Ruby Volume 9, Episode 5, A Parfait Predicament. Sorry, I had to look down at my phone to see the title. <laughs> uh, last week was eye-opening for one person in that particular group of people. Um, remember when I said this was a soul-searching journey? Uh, no, this is just Ruby having to deal with the fact that she has to grow out of her ment of her childish mentality. Like, don't get me wrong, she can keep the childishness, but she has to realize that there are more, that uh, she has to get like very, very, very serious when it all gets down. Like, I'm not saying she should be Luffy, but possibly, no, 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 no. Actually, yeah, be Luffy, be Luffy. <laughs> But anyway, I'm not gonna bore anyone with the details. I am two days behind on this reaction. I don't know why I'm not reacting to these things the day they come out, but oh well. Um, actually, I know why. That's work. <laughs> but if you guys enjoyed the reaction, if you guys want to see more, please hit the like button down below. Subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. It'd be very much appreciated. And um, let's just whew, let's get into it, guys. Three, two, one. Episode five. We're halfway done with the volume. You guys believe that? You guys believe that? All right, let's see what we got. Hold on, let me see, let me, okay, never mind. Thought I had to change the thing. Let's go. Sinking down into depths of nowhere, I am undone. Grasping tight onto memories, I know they'll be overrun. I uh, must live with balance, but balance is blind. Vengeance is a riptide in a fairy tale she'll find. Inside a new me, I'm ready, but who will I find? I, I'm gonna let go, or could I lose my mind? Inside our world, unwinds. Let's go! Mm. All right, halfway mark, people. Let's go. Okay, so we're back on the path. Um, in the um mushroom. I'm so glad the four of you are still the four of you. Not always the case in the ever after. What does that mean? It's just in the first place, which, by the way, was how we ended up in that mushroom house to begin with. You know, where that delirious caterpillar guy tried to drug us and then was swallowed up by a freaking hole in the ground? I love oh, yes. Weiss right now. Alex had a similar reaction the first time she saw someone return to the ever after, but it's not how it seems. Well, I suppose it is. But not the way you think, if you think like Alex. Which it seems like you do. Hold up, hold up. Let me hear that again. Let me hear that again, please. Hold up. But not the way you think. It's not how it seems. Similar reaction the first time she saw someone return to the ever after. But it's not how it seems. Well, I suppose it is. But not the way you think, if you think like Alex. Which it seems like you do. I'm gonna get my thoughts on that later. I'm gonna get my thoughts on that later. Let's continue the episode. I'm sorry, guys. I, 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 what he is saying right now really has me thinking, and it's, whoa. I got, a, I got a few theories I want to talk, touch upon. Aha. Uh -huh. We're here. Here where exactly? Huh. 
Is this that little town? Yeah, it's that little place. Yeah, it's that little place from the trailer. But what is this? Better run. So, cat. Going to explain to us how a giant caterpillar disappearing into a hole isn't how it seems? When we break or wear out or simply finish what we were made to do, we're called back. But hurry. His heart was too weak to listen. So I gave him a little bit of mine. Is he dead? <laughs> hey guys, I am so sorry about that. I know I, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I literally just realized I'm so glad I um took the time to like look at all this to, um look at my um settings for a second. Uh, I didn't realize that my um whole camera had frozen, uh, but we're back now. We're here. Sorry. Now that Herb's properly returned, he'll be fixed up nice and made into the Herb he wanted to be when he was still Herb. Then he'll come back and find his purpose. Could be the same as before, or maybe not. When Herb comes back. Will he remember anything? <laughs> what would be the point of that? Mm, just like Alex, you lot. I know, I know where you're from, things will die. But we're just not like you at all. We ascend. Herb will have a purpose again. That's impossible. Things have to die someday. Right? Well, goodness, no. Though, I suppose there is a creature. I... No, no. That's not the sort of thing we talk about in polite company. In polite company? What's that mean? Get Wait. Hot, fresh, so, right on... what happened to Herb? Is that what happened to the king? Come on, try our mud cookies! They're delicious! Oh, it was all very sad. The Red King couldn't cope when he lost to Alex. A crying mess. Thankfully, he was called back and fixed up, and now he's the prince you met. Fixed up? The prince was worse. The prince isn't supposed to be nice. He's meant to play the game and win, no matter what. Wonder he broke. When the Red King didn't. But that still doesn't explain why the Red Prince was so much meaner. While the prince may not remember Alex's deception after ascending, the heart very rarely forgets. But there was nothing about ascension in the story. Of course not! Exposition is terribly boring. Even this conversation was, on the whole, rather tedious. I wonder what else Alex left out. What did she leave out? Buffet, one needs a bushel of grumpy ivy, one good sized spicy potato, the lint off a griffin sweater. Ethel's dragons and more should have that, which is right next to. I'll never remember all of that. <laughs> I can procure those. But there's another ingredient we must have that's only available on the third level some nose hair from a leprechaun. Ugh. If you retrieve that while I go get the rest. Uh, sure. I guess so. Wonderful. Look for the teapot lady. She'll have it. Now, teapot I'll lady? Oh! Wait a minute. Are we going to see Neo? Oh, the teapot lady! <laughs> Hold up. Are we about to see Neo? He's going to take it. He's going to be a minute, isn't he? Guess I'd better go with the cat so they don't get distracted by a shiny doorknob and never come back. I'll go with you. Get me as far away as possible from any nose hairs, please. I'll go with you, Ruby. <sighs> nice try, kitty. You're not going anywhere. On his back they go. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> And when will you fall asleep, little? <sighs> yeah. At least that's something. At least see. At least at least Ruby's smiling a bit. Teapot lady. Uh oh. That's 
that's just creepy. Yo, that is creepy. Is she the rusted knight? No, 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 no. Blacksmith, blacksmith, blacksmith. I know who the rusted knight. I know who the rusted knight is. Um, I know who the rusted knight is. We all figure that is John because he was in that blaze in the beginning of the opening. I'm not letting go of that. But if this lady is the rusted knight or is she Alex? I don't know. Ah, I have so many things going through my head. What's that mean? Oh, Penny. You lost. Oh! No, no. Uh, it's a mess. <clears throat> my friends went somewhere else. You're doing this all alone? Uh, Ruby, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Yo, little. saw the blacksmith i thought she was going to have this very cool um voice like robin's i didn't expect a creepy low and like echoish one if you change your mind you may choose any one of these you like and set your burden down oh. where'd the sword go alec wait is that a dagger I need new headphones. Ruby? Summer? Wait, is that Summer's? Ruby? Who are you talking to? Did you retrieve the no tear? Come on, try our blood cookies. They're delicious. Uh, you don't want to miss them. What was that? Not just yet, but Ruby, come on. We got everything else. I, uh, uh I'm sorry. Is that the teapot lady? Best mud cookies you've ever had. Welcome to Bailey's and Things. How oh, can I help you? Looking for nose hairs? No, not the ogre ones. Oh. Uh. She's giving more. She doesn't have Crescent Rose. She doesn't have her. Honestly, I didn't think the clip was from her mom. Oh, that makes so much sense. Oh, you think I know this stuff, but apparently I'm forgetting a lot. Ah. Oh! oh no. It carries a mother's promise. That's crazy. Wait, what's a Jabberwalker? It's a truly terrible creature. If the Jabberwalker eats one of us, we do not ascend. How do we make the parfait thing? Toss everything in here. But be careful. Eat too much and we'll have to shrink you back again. And that's a completely oh. different potion. Eat, eat, eat! <gasps> it wasn't enough. Eat the whole thing!
nothing new to do for the moment. Now go. Your friends need to get big again, or we're Jabberwalker dinner. Yes, go time. Ruby, follow me. The others can handle this. Also, a new song. Let's go. <laughs> Gravity time. You can't handle me. Nope. Nope. Let's go, Blinky. the team is working together against the Jabba Walker. This scene is amazing, but I'm worried about John. Neo? Neo? Huh? What? There's only supposed to be one. It's Neo. Gosh, that's a whole place taken out, too. That's sad. Oh, man. And that's Neo's fault. Oh. I am so tired of leaving traces in ashes. How do they not see the symbol? That's his shield! I can't believe it. The rusted knight. In person. Ah! Get to it, Juniper. Juniper? John! Wait, what? Okay. What? I'm sorry, what? I, okay, the moment he said, good job, Juniper, I'm like, yes, good job. I'm like, yep, yeah, that's John. You knew it, John. Him being older, though, that's, that's, that's throwing me. That's throwing me. What happened? You know, I made a whole, like, um, uh, me and my friend, uh, me and friend, me and Tech, we actually had a little theory about the whole, um, about this whole, um, time travel thing. Like, if you go in there, you appear in certain points in time. What happened to Jean? Like, what the frack? Rusted Night Jean? Okay, it's still Miles. It didn't, I couldn't hear it before. Uh, the Curious Cat, Robbie, the Hawker, um, Caesar, uh, Little, the Black Myth, uh, Kimlin Tran, uh, the Teapot Lady, uh, Din, Jensen, and the Jabberwalker, which, Neo is here. We, uh, we just didn't see her. She is messing with everyone now. Rusted Knight slash Sean. <laughs> oh my gosh. We got my boy Sean back, but it's not in the way I, th I thought. But the opening makes sense now. Everyone was making these theories about the clocks in the 11th hour, but the clocks are so symbolic now. Um, he, he moved forward instead of moving back, and that's something like, that, that's crazy, that's crazy. And he 
named the little one Jimmy. He, he named it Juniper. That's beautiful. Oh, oh, John, what happened? What happened to my boy? No, he's not a boy anymore. He's a man now. That man, th my guy's a man now. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. This was a good episode. This was a very good episode. Uh, we're probably going to get Neo and what happened to Jean next episode. Um, since the team is already back to full, um, full, um, back to full size, so we don't got to worry about that anymore. Uh, I believe the next five episodes are just more soul searching, but I think, um, after next episode, it should be more about Ruby because she gave another part of herself to someone else. And it's really freaking me out how much she's giving up. She's giving herself up. And remember what the um the blacksmith said. Um, She said, what if you could leave Ruby Rose behind? She had like an old cloak. Like she's already lost Crescent Rose. She lost the thing. I didn't even know that, th that a little pin was something her mother gave her or I did know and I just forgot. Can someone let me know? Or, oh my gosh, she's losing more and more of herself. She's already lost her joy. She's lost her hope. She's lost really everything. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. That's crazy. This is all crazy. I love this episode. I love Ruby. I'm happy Ruby's back. Ah! We're at the halfway mark, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm so happy that it's... Oh, damn. Oh my gosh, this was a great episode. I cannot wait to dive into next week. It's going to be immaculate. I will see you guys next week for Ruby, Volume 9, Episode 6. <sighs> we finally got my boy back, and they finally know he's in the Ever After. Oh my gosh, how long has it been for John? Or did he take the deal and change? I don't know. But whatever happened, I'm I'm just really happy to see him. Anyways, I'll see you guys next week. This is Artemis Era signing off. Have a great day, everybody.